ultimately it comes down to what is the point of what are, what we're doing here and how can we align the main objectives not in saying that a main objective should be how many people we are impacting or how much uh, carbon we are sequestering into the ground. I don't mean that kind of objective. I mean an objective such as why are we doing this work? Is it to fulfill ourselves, which is also fine, or is it to fulfill something greater than ourselves? Especially, I guess, um, when the default is capitalism, you get a lot of extractive methodologies of being applied without much thinking simply because this is the way that we've done it just now um, rather than something that actually shifts us into a different mode of operation that fits us better into the ecosystems that we actually find ourselves in and it is because when you look at the systems underpinning capitalism patriarchy all all the senses of international development and inherent global hegemony it all comes back down to the ego to how we pander to humanity essentially or a certain type of humanity not even all of humanity the global south i probably should explain is called the global south because of the existence of the global north the global north are um, geographically speaking relatively mostly in the north but it doesn't mean that it's a geographic um, term right it also is a metaphorical term and what this sort of points to is histories of colonization, where the global north um, economies or nations have consistently been the ones to, because of essentially military technology, take over and slave and colonize um, large swathes of the global south. So there's all of these narratives, all of these stories that are so similar across the global south that we actually don't realize and we almost take for granted that oh it's, it's just us this is a problem just because we are like this mm -hmm. when in reality it's a systemic problem and the system comes from global hegemony so when we come together to be able to have these dialogues it opens up that awareness for example every time we have a conversation we have someone from latin america someone from africa and at least one person from asia to be in that conversation to talk about the topic of whatever we're we're discussing that day and when you see the connections being made it becomes a very special place as well so it starts from the policies that are in government and in corporate and how we can seek to change those things for real equality and i don't mean equality in terms of hiring practices within those firms but equality in terms of how we are actually managing or um yeah, I guess managing physical resources, human resources, as well as ecosystem services. How are we actually being accountable to the planet through the way that we act as corporations and governments?